Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I hope you are taking very good care of yourself and you are doing well. Uh, my name is Anand and I will be your acting sergeant at arms for the moment. Uh, welcome to the Levan Toastmasters Club. We are a part of area E2, Division E, District 41. And it's our pleasure to welcome you all to this particular meeting. Just like any other Toastmasters Club, uh, which is on a club mission, uh, I would like to iterate the club mission statement of Tosma of our club, which is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Uh, as you, you might have already seen that this meeting is being recorded. So by attending this meeting, you are actually agreeing to the privacy policy of Toastmasters International, as well as the unassociated, unassociated remote hosting service. Some of your personal information, such as name, image, and initial message may be shared with other meeting participants and will be recorded by Toastmasters International. We may use the recording for as it sees fit. Your remote attendance hereby discharges Toastmasters International from all claims, demands, rights, promises, damages, liabilities arising out of or in connection with the use of said video recording, including but not limited to any claims of privacy, invasion for invasion of privacy, appropriation and likeness or defamation. Uh, these are the few naming conventions which might prove helpful and if you can use the same, that would be very, very nice. Uh, please always be on mute until unless you are required to speak. Uh, if uh, you want to make any uh, question or if you want to just make a point you can use the raise and option which i will just show you in a minute uh, please ask the tech master who for the time being i guess it's alok uh, if you are audible or not the chat option will remain open plus but please do avoid uh, tapping in between because the message pops out uh, on the screen when the speaker is on the stage and that might just be a distraction for the speaker uh, Apart from that, these are the few control options in case you're visiting uh, using the zoom for the first time, it might prove helpful, you can just have a glimpse of the same. And uh, the reason option which I just iterated is over here towards the left, what you are seeing uh, will be on your mobile phones and towards the right, what you're seeing, you will get an option if you're using your laptop. Uh, for the moment. Uh, 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 now it's my pleasure to welcome onto the stage uh, the presiding officer. Uh, uh, I am not able to see uh, Master Ruli over here, uh, but uh, because uh, can you just anybody confirm if Toastmaster Ruli is in the meeting area? He has not done here. No. Not okay. Uh, I would request then, uh, 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 because uh, VP Ed is not uh, able to come today. So the next is VPM. So I would now request Toastmaster Alok to please take the stage as the presiding okay. officer then. So our oh, uh, uh, Toastmaster role is here. Yeah. Yeah. Postmaster Roli, can you? Uh, she has got disconnected, I guess. Uh, I think you can uh, take uh, the introduction of first few guests and when Postmaster Roli tunes in, she can take the stage. Uh, so I can see to, uh, guest Vedant. Ayudant, how are you? Yes, sir, I'm fine. Uh, are you able to see me? Yeah. No, no, we can see our, your image only. Okay, sir. Uh, yeah. Now, can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, sir, uh, what uh, I have to do? Sorry, sir, I can't hear you. Okay. So, Toastmaster Roli, yes, she will take over from you. Okay. Toastmaster Roli, please proceed. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Alok. I apologize for the delay. I was uh, occupied in another meeting. Uh, 
So I believe uh, that the Sergeant at Arms has completed the address. Is that correct? Uh, you're yes. on mute, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go ahead with the guest introductions. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. I would like to request our guest uh, Sumit in to uh, introduce himself. Hello, Sumit. Hi. Hi, Dolly. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a guest. Uh, this is my fourth meeting, I think, I guess. So hi, everyone. Uh, I'm, uh, it's my pleasure to be here in this meeting with the Delhi One Toastmaster and uh, to participate in uh, all the sessions that has been arranged and fortunate enough to give my Friday a pleasure day to speak and learn from everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Sumit. Uh, yes, we do not consider you as a guest, but as an external Toastmaster, I do believe that it is our honor and responsibility to help you uh, in introducing yourself to the rest of the Toastmasters community and the folks who have joined our meeting today. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. We will move to Vedant now. Vidant, would you introduce yourself? Tell us how you came to know about Deliman Toastmasters and what are your expectations from our meeting today? Good evening, everyone. My name is Vidant and I have graduated in chemical engineering from my This is my first year for Deliman Toastmasters. Vidant? I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I don't know, maybe it's my network connection, but I'm not able to hear you very clearly. Could you come a little closer to the mic? Uh, and now it's audible? Yes, it is audible now. Please go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Vedan Pradhan, and I have done my graduation in chemical engineering from NIT Raipur. Uh, this is my first uh, such meeting of Delhi One Toastmasters Club. I came to know about uh, Toastmasters Club from one of my professors. He told me that it is a platform where you can improve your speech, you can uh, gain self-confidence and, uh, and have an effective communication. So I just uh, Googled that uh, Toastmasters Club and in that, in the Delhi area, a lot of uh, different uh, 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 Toastmasters Club names popped up, and uh, and then I contacted the uh, I think the, uh, the 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 media like you know the media in charge person of this club, and uh, he and he then uh, gave me the link to come to this uh, uh, meeting of today. So uh, and currently talking about me, uh, I am currently preparing for my. MB examination and uh, I want to join this club because it will uh, give me the opportunity and the learning experience to have a very good communication and I'm also a part of uh, TISA, the Indian Stammering Association. From there also many people uh, told me to uh, give it a try. Okay, uh, yeah, this is my brief introduction. Uh, thank you all. Thank you so much, Vedant. I hope that you have a great time today in our meeting and do join in for our table topic section. Uh, that gives us uh, an opportunity to hear you deliver an impromptu speech. Uh, I'd like to now move to our uh, one of our speakers today, uh, an external Toastmaster. Toastmaster Karan, would you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone, good evening. Thank you, thank you Roli for giving me such an opportunity. So basically, I am from Toast Toastmaster Club of Dwarka and it has been around one year since being a part of Toastmasters. So as we know that the main reason that uh, why we are joining Toastmasters is to improve our communication skills to be good at communication and to take some leadership uh, position in our, you know, in our future. So same was with me. I was also, you know, self-preserved kind of person who just believe on hard work, 
who just believe on that uh, if i will not do anything wrong to anyone then i will be success i will get success but nowadays it is not like that so you have to be you have to present yourself you have to show yourself and communication is the best way so that's why i joined toastmasters and it has been a great great learning and i appreciate the guest also to join this club and be a part of toastmasters thank you thank you so much toastmaster karan i look forward to your speech today and with that we'll move to another speaker in our uh, forum today toastmaster surinder would you please introduce yourself good evening good evening this is the now recently i joined uh, the toastmaster club of dwarka to enhance my communication skill and to improve english actually so today i i'll give my speech let us see what happens thank you well i hope that the positive and supportive environment of toastmasters will be with you and you'll have a great time delivering this speech thank and you. we'll have a great time thank listening you. to you i'd like to quickly move okay. to thank you one of our thank you um, move to one of our speakers and evaluators today distinguished toastmaster raj mehta so please thank you roli and uh, good evening everyone i am raj mehta i have been a toastmaster since last 10 plus years and i was uh, for a long time i was in toastmaster club of dwarka uh, my might be current might be knowing me or some other members in dwarka toastmaster club know me very well okay i also heard that uh, one of the mem one of the guests is also connected with isa so i would like to get in touch with that person who was that vedant pradhan yeah Right. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, distinguished host, Master Raj Mehta, and we'd like to introduce our one of our evaluators, another external Toastmaster, Toastmaster Banaja. I am not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Please do correct me. Yeah. Thank you, Ro, and good evening, everybody here. I am also from Toast Toastmasters Club of Dwarka. A lot of my friends are are here. and uh, i have joined recently not very old i think 3 4 months september august august i joined but uh, our uh, vp education and our president has been very open he had they have been telling me that you when you explore other toastmasters club it will open a new area new dimension so therefore that also i agreed i said yes i must <laughs> venture out so that is why i'm i once more time i had come so you were not there roli was not there But I have met a couple of other people. Alok was there, so and Shumit had also joined that day. I had met him that day also. So today I have taken up this role of evaluator. So hopefully I'll be able to do the justice to to my role. So thank you all for accepting me. And thank you, Toastmaster Banaja. Um, I look forward to your evaluation, and I wish you all the best to have a great thank meeting you. and a great experience while delivering your evaluation as well. I'd like to <coughs> call on state our toastmaster of the meeting today. Uh, he has chosen a theme which I believe defines him completely. He has chosen resiliency as his theme, and he has been one of the most resilient toastmasters, human beings I would say, that I have come across in my life. Uh, despite his ill health, he never ever backed out of. any responsibility whether it was ensuring that we had a sergeant at arm whether it was to go to the bank several times to sort out account issues for our club or it was to ensure that we had our meeting started and even when he was not there he would make sure that everything was set up for the meeting including the polls and everything so he is one of the most resilient toastmasters uh, in our club and i am very proud very honored to present the stage to him so that he can take the meeting forward toastmaster kartik mishra resiliency resiliency toastmaster kartik mishra thank you distinguished toastmaster president roli sena good evening everyone good evening everyone 
I would like everyone to just clap good for evening. themselves. Good evening. We, good evening. Because we passed passed on through this one and a half years of COVID times and any other kind of nonsense times. So clap everyone that we are all right. So many times in our life, we are we had our ambition, we had our goals, we had have our expectations, and we tried to move forward to fulfill these. But in between, in our journey, in order to cover and fulfill our whatever we wants to achieve and whatever we wishes to be happen, we sometimes face difficulties, adversities, which on which I would like to say that life is like a boxing match. You are always, you should always be attentive, save all yourself and attack, move forward. And many times we get knocked down, we get distressed and we get, um, we get la lazy or didn't have uh, the willingness or energy to do things that we, we decided to do it. So re resilience is the ability to withstand adversity and bounce back from difficult life events. Being resilient does not mean people don't experience stress, emotional upheaval and suffering. Some people equate resilience with mental toughness, but demonstrating resilience includes working through emotional pain and suffering. It doesn't mean that you have to show that you are experiencing things. Still, in our everyday life, resilience is required. Starting from waking up on time or someone who have to leave office or who have to join office on time early in the morning or someone who wants to exercise and do yoga in the morning. Till the time of our sleep, sleeping time. L like uh, our, our country, India got independence after 90 years of struggle of resilience from different freedom fighters, mm -hmm. respected people. Uh, maybe starting from 1857 to 1947. Can you imagine more than 80, uh, as an estimated, more than 80,000 people had lost their lives for the goal of achieving independence of a country. And taking the example of Sachin Tanulkar, the cricketing legend, on his debut match, he had faced Pakistan side in December 1989, facing greatest fast bowler of that time, Wasim Akram Vakar Yunis, facing 150-145 kilometers for our bowling and getting hit through the bouncers. And on the other side, they experienced batsman Navjo Singh Sibdu at that, that you should have get retired hurt because you are bleeding from your mouth. He said that, I will play. I will play because I promised to my father that I will score 50 runs on my, deb on my debut match. And if went on and on and scored 50 runs, despite that his mouth got slow, swollen from the bruises of fast bowling. Which means that, and after that, we all have seen that what the legend he has become, serving in a cricket team of, with 25 years of service. And the starting moment of this great cricketing journey is that uh, facing adversity and keep moving forward. In the same way in this Toastmasters, in Delhi Toastmaster journey, we have different kinds of speeches and this evaluation in form of auxiliary role players. I would like to call the first auxiliary role player 
timer of today's meeting. Uh, Toastmaster Alok Kujur. Welcome. Over to you. Am I audible? Toastmaster Garth. Yes. Thank you. So today's theme is about resilience. I think resilience and time management go hand in hand. And that's because that's because the feeling of being overwhelmed take hold when you feel that we are losing uh, grip on our time and circumstances. And being time of today's meeting, I will keep track of your time and ensure that you don't get overwhelmed while speaking. So in the prepared speech section today, the time limit for all the three speeches today is five to seven minutes. At the end of five minutes, I'll change my background to green, followed by yellow at six minutes and red at the end of seven minutes. For table topic session, the time limit for every speaker is one to two minutes. At the end of one minute, I'll change my background to green, followed by yellow at 1.5 minutes and red at the end of two minutes. For speech evaluations, the time limit for every evaluator is two to three minutes. At the end of two minutes, I'll change my background to green, followed by yellow at the end of two minutes, 30 seconds and red at the end of three minutes. There is also grace time of 30 seconds after the red background is slashed each time to wrap up your speeches. I hope every speaker will try to speak to the speak to the time limit. Thank you. Over to Postmaster Thank you. Now moving forward to the R counter of today's meeting. I would like to welcome. Toastmaster Sumit, over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the evening, Kartik, for that wonderful topic that you have started with, that the word is called resilience. And when we talk, we have that word resilience in our speaking power as well, in our communication style. Good evening, my fellow Toastmasters, my Toastmaster, evening, uh, Toastmaster of the evening, I'm the R counter. I'll be playing the role of the R counter, wherein I'll be keeping the track of all the R arms and all the filler sounds that we do have. That also includes basically, actually, and these words. I will keep a track of all these words and present my report at the end of the session whenever my inner evaluator asks for. And that is how I'm going to present. Unfortunately, I do not have the Excel to be shared in this laptop because I'm uh, communicating from the mobile. So I can share to the webcam itself in my Excel sheet and I can present the report. Thank you and over to you, Toastmaster of the evening, Karthik. Thank you, Toastmaster. I would like to call the language evaluator of today's meeting, distinguished Toastmaster Ruli Sina. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kartik. It is only with resilience that we build the kind of language that will impress others and ensure that we communicate the right message. Words play a great role in our life. And I'm here today to recognize all the good usages of the English language. I encourage everyone to use the English language as much as possible. If there is need to use any other language, please make sure that you translate it back into English so that all the members of the audience can understand your meaning and intent. Also, I will be recording some of the awkward usages that might be used during the meeting and suggest the ways we can improve upon it. Thirdly, I have chosen a word of the day in line with the theme because I believe that for resilience, the one thing that we need in ourselves is perseverance. Perseverance means a quality that enables us to continue no matter what kind of tragedies or adversities we face. So I hope that you will be able to use the word of the day, not just in today's meeting, but otherwise in your lives as well. I posted the word of the day with its meaning and examples in the chat window. I hope that everyone will show a thumbs up whenever the word of the day is used. I will be back with my report during the evaluation segment. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. 
thank you for your kind words to me now coming to the important segment of today's meeting speeches segment uh i would like to call first speaker before the calling first speaker i would like to call the speech evaluator uh who is the uh, can someone please tell me who is the speech evaluator of first speaker toastmaster anand kumar it's me it's me anand my apologies <coughs> please anand uh Each uh, evaluator, please come to specialize project objectives of speaker one. Over to you, Osh Master Anand. Thank you so much, Karthik. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, the first speaker is uh, distinguished Osh Master Raj Mehta. He'll be delivering a speech from a, a project one, uh, which is high performance leadership from uh, effective coaching pathway. It is his first speech, and the purpose of the speech is. as mentioned the purpose of this project is for the member to apply his leadership and planning knowledge to develop a project plan organize a guidance committee and implement the plan with the help of a team this is the first speech which i would like to treat and the timing for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes so i wish the speaker the very best and i'm looking forward towards the speech thank you so much thank you Distinguished Toast Master Raj Mehta, unique and best, unique and best. Distinguished Toast Master Raj Mehta, over to you. Uh, let me first check. Am I audible and visible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Thank you, Toast Master of the day, Toast Master Karthik. On the day of Delhi NCA Mega Meet at YMCA, I met Distinguished Toast Master Mohit Mohit Sahani. the division g director during the discussions he asked me if i would be willing to take up the role of the contest chair of division g table topics contest and speech evaluation contest when i said yes he said okay raj let's do it in the unique and the best way thus i have a project of organizing division g table topics and speech evaluation contest on saturday 18th december 2021 from 2 pm to 5 pm over zoom meeting portal in a unique and best way for making the project unique and the best i decided to organize and conduct the contest in a very systematic and planned manner so as to achieve the best possible end results the inputs shall be resourced from various available options and the output must satisfy all the stakeholders of the project the input like role players skips explaining various roles latest contest rule book test speaker chief judge pr material and funds the output shall be timely unhindered and successful conduct of the contest appreciation of role players or team members and distribution of certificates to participants and the winners to make the contest unique i decided to take all the role players from different locations including outside district 41 and as far as possible the first times i fully understand that risk involved with the first timer is huge yet i would like to go with them as this is how we can create new leaders in toastmasters after creating a vision of the project i need to create a broad plan of implementation of the project my first task is to organize a governance committee for this i requested distinguished toastmaster mohit sahani to be a member of the governing governing committee he has very kindly accepted my request i have also included currently a known toastmaster dhruval mehta past area director as another member of the governance committee the reason for taking these two persons as members of the governing com governance committee is that both of them are easily 
and frequently available, which is the main requirement from a governance committee member. As I just said, role players shall be shall preferably be the first timers and from outside District 41. I have finalized some of uh, these role players like chief judge, test speaker, and two contest toastmasters. Some of them are first timers and are from District 98. I'm still on the lookout for two timers and two sergeant at arms. I appeal here in this meeting that if you have not done the role of a timer or a sergeant at arms at contest, especially at division level contest, please come forward. I assure you that you will feel very comfortable while doing the role of a timer or a sergeant at arms at the division G contest and the best version of you as the role player shall emerge. I shall form two WhatsApp groups, one for the contestants and another for the role players. Members of the governance committee shall be part of these two groups. I shall supply contest rule book, skips for role players, timer cards or lights, Toastmaster International Pledge, naming conventions, detailed agenda, list of, list of uh, dignitaries and introductions, etc. I, in addition, I shall conduct three contest meetings separately and jointly with the contestants as and the role players and also do the draw of lots on random, ram, random number basis. In fact, I shall conduct a brief 10 to 15 minutes mood contest for making everyone comfortable and understand their roles fully. Meanwhile, I'm in regular touch with my governance committee and uh, keep implementing this, the suggestions given by them. I also plan to reach out to as many Toastmasters and Toastmasters and known Toastmasters for maximum publicity and a great attendance or a target attendance of more than 150 people. While word of the mouth, word of mouth and informal PR is already on, our formal PR activities shall commence from 12th December. As on date, when we have eight days to go, I'm on track and wish to assure you all that with perseverance, it will be a unique and the best conducted project. And you all shall be clapping when I would deliver my second speech of the project here in Daily One Toastmasters Club on 24 December, 2021. Thank you and over to the Toastmasters of the day. Thank you. I request everyone to uh, refer to the feedback link given on the chat section to give feedback to the respective speaker. Now I, uh, I would like to call the next speaker. Before calling next speaker, I would like to call the evaluator of the speaker. Uh, uh, Kusma, you are the yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Please give the specify the project objective of speaker. Uh, sorry, in the call. You. Yeah. Thank you. Today, Toastmaster Surinder Kaur is going to deliver a speech, which is from level two, project one from the path innovative planning and the objectives of the project is uh, to identify the primary leadership style of or styles of the speaker. And this, this project is basically designed to introduce the different styles of leadership and help the speaker identify his or her preferred styles. And the title of the speech is leadership over to Toastmaster of the day. I wish all the best to this speaker.
Toastmasters, Surinder Kaur, oh, over to you. Uh, Toastmaster Surinder Kaur, you are muted. Please unmute yourself. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Leadership. Actually, I uh, timer card. I cannot see. Please check. Can you see? Yes, uh, timer is. Um... Can you see this much of the timer? Can you see the green background? No, no, background? please, no. So, Sundar, here it is. You have to look into the background of the timer. So, here they will not share the screen. Actually, I, I am on the phone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you have to right. uh, see the. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. <clears throat> now, can I start? Yes, sure. Over to you. Leadership. Everybody is a leader in its own way who leads or commands family, group, school, institute, organization, or a country. The pattern, the total pattern of the leader's action as perceived by their subordinates is called leadership style. The leadership style determines how someone uses their power or authority to lead others. There are nine magnificent leadership styles. First one is autocratic leader. An autocratic leader gives orders, assign tasks and duties, to their subordinates. Subordinates do what he directs. He does not care about their opinion and permits them to uh, influence the decision. This is a negative kind of leadership based on threats and punishment. Subordinates are, can never be happy or satisfied with this leadership style for, due to their superior. This is only uh, suitable at the time of natural calamities or war, etc., when the leader has to take an instant decision. For example, uh, Hitler, Napoleon, and Queen Elizabeth. First are the examples of leadership, uh, autocratic, lead, uh, autocratic leadership style. The uh, second one is bureaucratic style. This style of leadership mostly followed in government departments employees employees strictly follow all rules and regulations and this is favorable in the large businesses which are looking for consistency like uh, uh, mcdonald is a bureaucracy and the third one is consultative style. In this, the leader consults the subordinates before taking decision. However, he retains the authority to make decision after that and give instructions. And the fourth one is participative leadership style. This leadership favors decision making by the group, but 
he gave, the leader gives instructions after that. And he can motivate them uh, and, uh, and uh, motivate the subordinates. Bill Gates is the best example for this, who was able to, uh, who was able to uh, develop uh, his company and utilizes the skills of team members. Next one is lazy feared leadership style. And in this, the leader does not lead, but leaves the decision entirely to itself. He gives full authorities and full freedom to the subordinates and does not interfere in their decision. And actually he, he is an umpire of the organization. And subordinates are free to take their decisions and uh, policies, they can use their policies, methods, whatever they want. So as there is no, or uh, as there is no uh, uh, control or directions, sometimes the organization likely to, is likely to flounder. But there is one benefit of this leadership style. It increases the morale of the subordinates and uh, makes them confident and independent. Nowadays, children want, children like this type of leadership, expect this type of leadership from their parents. And the next one is, neurocratic style this is the this style is the aggressive style in which leader is sensitive emotional and eccentric the most interesting thing in this, in this leadership he gives the uh, he takes full authority to take decisions and shift the responsibility to the subordinates in the case of failure. So it happens sometimes in our families too, some members are like this. They do the wrong work and play the blame game. And the last one is, timer please. And the last one is situational style. The leader should, uh, in an emergency, when in an emergency, at the when there is a little time to when there is little time to uh, uh, come together. for the uh, come together for the agreement, then the autocratic leadership should, should be used. However, in the United team and the motivated group, laissez fair or free reign leadership uh, may be the most effective. So the leader should be the, the option and the style adopted should be the one that should suits the situation of the uh, company 
and can be named as the situational leadership style. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker Subindakar. Uh, Surindakar, sorry. Uh, I, I would like request everyone to uh, give feedback using the feedback link given on the chat box. Now coming to the next speaker, uh, Speaker Karan. Before calling Speaker Karan, I would like to call evaluator Banerjee. Uh, my apologies if I am pronouncing wrongly. <laughs> Uh, to say the to specify the project objectives of speaker Karan. Over to you, evaluator manager. Thank you, PMOD Karti. This uh, I'm, my pronunciation is Banaja. You all are uh, pronouncing it correctly, so there is nothing to worry about it. It's all okay. And today I'm going to introduce our third speaker, TM Karan. And his uh, speech is uh, for that, uh, this is level two and project two. And his speech title is Setting the Table. And, uh, and to introduce Karan, he is a person, he looks into the positive things in every person and in situation, and he is a very hardworking. And he never gives up till he gets it. So this defines him precisely. So I would like to uh, ask, uh, yeah, I, I should give it back to the uh, TMOD, you know, because this is what is being followed. Normally in our club, we call the speaker immediately, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm giving it to the Mr. Karthi, uh, TMOD Karthi. Thank you, evaluator Banja. Uh, now, speaker Karan Pandey, setting the table. So yeah, just one thing I forgot to mention, his speech is uh, five to seven minutes. So timer may please note this, that five to seven minutes speech, okay? Thank you. Thank you, evaluator. Speaker Karan Pandey, setting the table, setting the table. Speaker Karan Pandey, over to you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. So I, ho I hope I'm uh, clearly visible and audible. Yes, you're visible and audible, both. Winners don't do different things. Yes, my dear friends, winners don't do different things. They do things differently. Good evening, Toastmaster of the day, my fellow Toastmaster and my dear guest. Today, I am here to present a speech on a topic which might inspire someone because that topic after reading these two, three books, the topic which I have suggested for today has inspired me a lot and it give me a direction so that I will share with you all. My pathway is dynamic leadership and level two, project two. Before going to the speech, let me ask you all, how, want, how many of you want to be successful? You can raise your hand or you can, you know, uh, yes, type yes on the chat. Hello. Hello, boss. Please don't disturb me. I'm in Toastmasters. Okay. Bye. Great. I think after, you know, doing a job and then we are here and doing this type of communication gym. So I assume that most of us want to be successful. And what is the best thing? How can we achieve the success? There is a very simple rule that I have read in one of the books. I don't remember the name. It says that, it states that you just follow the successful people, what they are doing. You just start doing that thing until and unless you receive, you achieve the same results. So whatever in your field, Whatever, whoever the person is, so you have to start following him, what he or she is doing, you do that till that, till the result you achieve is the same as that person is achieved. 
so let me again come back to the topic which is called setting the table yes you all are right it is just like a dinner table and we have to set it up so it is our future that we have to set up so my topic is setting the table and it it is related to goal setting because when we have a proper goal in our life when we have a proper purpose in our life i am not talk, talking about a goal which will be achieved in two months three months so it is a you it is a lifetime goal it is a goal which will be achieved in five years 10 years so these type of goals i am talking about so if you have that goals in your mind the purpose is there and you have the perseverance with you then you can achieve anything that is no matter how hard that thing is so there are two three things i will uh, you know tell you and rather that will help you to do a better goal setting the first thing is that your goal should be smart so what that smart means here where s stand for specific so your goal should be specific so your goal should be like suppose english improvement improvement so your goal should be something like that i want to improve my english from this level from a level to b level in 5 months so where there is a specific goal there is specific you know timeline everything to your goal second is m m is your measurable you should you should be able to measure your goal how what is the progress in the goal how much you know uh, how much you have achieved to complete this goal the third a is achievable so my dear friends the one thing that we lack in making a goal is that achievable we make a goal it it is like a dream i will get this and we just forgot no matter we just you know write this on diary 100 times but the goal is not achievable so you have to make your goal achievable so that you will get that confidence in you and you will get you know the courage to do that every day and the third and the after that it is r r is let me yes r should be relevant so your goal should be relevant to your purpose so whatever you have goal whatever you have purpose in your life so it should be relevant with your uh, you know uh, purpose and last is time bound your goal should be sub time bound so this is the th first thing that we have to see that uh, we should make a smart goal whenever we are doing a goal setting for a year or a, you know uh, for five years then we should keep in mind this terminology the second is what after we have done goal setting so then comes the a b c d e methodology after doing goal setting you set your small small targets for every day your target should be categorized category a category a are those targets which are your top most priority if that is not done your goal will be not achieved so those tasks those activities you have to put in on as a a category so suppose there are 10 items so you name it as a1 a2 a3 a4 till a10 after that it comes a b so b means that b are those tasks which it is good to good that you do it otherwise you can postpone it and then comes to c c are the those tasks which you can delegates to other so suppose because see we are a social beings so we can delegate whatever we can do we will do we can delegate to the other person so like this you can categorize to d and e so my dear friends so you have to be you have to try to finish those those a items daily like that you will achieve the goal so at the end so i will quote the beautiful line that i have read it somewhere only put off until tomorrow what you are willing to die having left done 
So don't leave anything for tomorrow. Do it now, right away. Thank you. I request everyone to give feedback to the speaker, Karan, uh, on the feedback link given on the chat box. Now, I would like to say that I like the perseverance of all the respective speakers. So, clap for that. Okay, let me speak up. Anand, can you launch the polls? I can't uh, launch polls myself for best speaker. Okay, sure. Let me just check. Uh... Shall I launch? Yep. Uh, I've launched it. Okay. Okay. I can't see the polls. Yeah, sometimes hosts cannot see the polls, but it is going on. Uh, we have got. Everyone, please vote. We have 30 seconds to vote. Okay, I think we can end the poll. Yeah, we are good to go. Thank you, uh, Anand. Now, coming to the next segment of this meeting, table topic segment. I would like to call Toastmaster Anand Kumar, who will conduct the table topic session of this meeting. Over to you, Toastmaster Anand Kumar. Thank you so much, Karthik. It was lovely hearing you and all the speakers today. Uh, I will just take a moment to share my screen. And I'd request... Uh, uh, Toastmaster Karthik, uh, if he can help me, because I'm sharing the screen, I might not be able to see the person who raises his or her hand. So if you can just let me know. Okay, so the thing is really very simple. Uh, what you're basically going to do is that I've got few pictures with me and based on those three pictures, I will give you a prompt and you have to speak on the same. Now, uh, you will have at least five seconds. Uh, to think on the same, so that's an extra added advantage. Uh, but uh, you have to speak for at least a minute, and you can do up till two minutes. And then, of course, you have got 30 seconds of buffer on the upper half. So you can go at max till two minutes and 30 seconds, uh, but do not go beyond that. And make sure that you speak for at least a minute in order to qualify. Uh, at the same time, uh, please use the word of the day, which is perseverance. I hope that you will use it and our uh, grammarian will be really, really, very happy if you use that. So without wasting much time, uh, if we can have our first uh, volunteer for the day. Uh, Toastmaster Karthik, if you can help me with- the Yes, uh, right now, Bruce slide is shown. No, so if you can just uh, help me with the names of the person who are raising their hands, something, so I can just. They, uh, yeah. Nobody is raised. Nobody has raised. raised. But uh, okay. Toastmaster Banaja is raising a hand. Can okay, ask sure. Her yeah, Toastmaster, if you can unmute yourself. Yes, I have unmuted Banaja here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello. So hello. Uh, your first stop, so this is basically a picture of P Bank and it's piggy banks of the children so i was in the museum and i saw this so my question to you is mm -hmm. what's your in your piggy bank now what's in your piggy bank now toastmaster banaja <clears throat> Uh, good evening, Toastmasters uh, Anand and fellow Toastmasters here. 
And whenever I see this piggy bank, it uh, reminds a lot of things. And uh, when we are children, we are always taught how to uh, be, uh, how to take care of our ourselves and take care of our future as well. And this is one instrument which helps us to take care of our future, present, past, present, and future, everything. So for that matter, whenever now think about this piggy bank, what is there for us to take? Like this is, I feel that uh, that honesty and integrity is one such thing which uh, takes us forward in our future, to our future. And, uh, and with that perseverance is another thing which should be in our piggy bank also, because this is another thing which keeps us uh, motivating every time and we should never uh, leave uh, anything unturned till our last, uh, the last breath. We should always try for newer things. We should always get the new uh, dimensions in each and everything. And we have to, have to keep on learning things. So this is another aspect that learning has, is never ending in our life. We can always learn till our next, uh, till our last breath of uh, life. So this is another thing. And third thing is that uh, uh, in integrity, I have told. So last thing, maybe that uh, when we have empathy, empathy for others, for our fellow, for our fellow beings uh, everywhere in our family, in our office, in our uh, environment, our uh, neighbors and all. So everywhere we should have enough empathy to understand uh, people and get their perspective as well. And accordingly, we will also enrich ourselves in our lives. So that will keep us uh, like alive till the like uh, till our last breath of life. So thank you all for listening to me very patiently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster. And I really hope that. Uh, uh, that when you go back today, you will think about your piggy banks, uh, what it looked like in your childhood and what it looks now uh, to you and what does it mean to you uh, when I trade the word piggy bank in your life. Okay, now can we have uh, Toastmaster Sumit, I guess, he was raising his hand. Toastmaster yeah. Sumit, if you can come. In. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I have got a situation for you. So while I was in the museum, I saw this very fake currency kind of a thing. So my question to you is that you have went to a shop and you gave few money to the shopkeeper after buying a thing. And that currency actually now turns out to be fake currency. And the shopkeeper is now kind of uh, uh, saying that you are a person who circulates fake currency and is making allegations against you, it's now your time to defend yourself. So it's over to you. Uh, the 8th November midnight, the demonetization day, it was all full day for everyone. I was holding some notes, which was of 500 rupees currency, and that was old. I was not aware of that. What I did the next morning, that's on 8th November, I went to the shop and was giving that 500 rupees note to buy a deodorant. Yes, you heard it right, a deodorant. That cost only 150 bucks. And I was thinking the person would be giving me the change. Unfortunately, it had not happened. All was looking at me and was thinking what I'm doing. Am I not aware of Narendra Modi, who has already publicly said demonetization is going to happen? Those money notes would be banned. I was not aware of that. Unfortunate enough for me, it was not known to me and I was not aware. And I was thinking, what should I do? The person was holding the note of 500 rupees note, that old currency note, and I'm thinking, what should I say? Pity me, I am not aware. I can see those tantrums. I can see those people gazing at me and feeling that angerness from their sights. 
everyone was rushing to exchange their notes. Unfortunately, I was the lazy boy who was holding that 500 rupees note, not me, the shopkeeper was holding, and the deodorant was on my hand, but I was not able to buy it. But still, I had to look at him to say, sir, please take it. Please, I'm not aware of this, but today at least, please, pity on me. If you can take it for me, then I'll be very, very helpful to you. How? I'm not sure. But I said that, and it was a lucky day for me. They took that 500 rupees note, but do you know how much money he exchanged? They took that dear friend for 500 rupees note. Though it was a demonetization in the day, but unfortunately, that your trend cost me 500 for that particular day. That was on 8th of November. Since the 8th of November midnight was a demonetization day. So, what do you say? What has happened to you, Table Topic Master, on the demonetization day? Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sumit. Uh, that was lovely, and I hope that uh, you are not caught in another such situation, <laughs> which I mentioned. Uh, but, anyways. Uh, now, can we have our next volunteer, please? Okay, so Vedant is here. Uh, Vedant, if you can mute yourself and if you can switch on your video, it would be lovely. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Sure. So the situation now continues further. The story continues. Now, you are a police officer and you went to this very person's house where you have actually found a printing press, a uh, minting press uh, where the fake currencies were being manufactured. So now you as a police now have to make argument against this very alleged person in the court. So what will be your arguments? It's over to you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, the police officer is inside the courtroom and he is uh, making an argument against the person uh, in whose house he just uh, he found the minting machine well your honor this man was having a minting machine inside his house which clearly showed that he was in an illegal business which was to print coins which was to mint coins and also to print the rupee notes as we all know that after this demonetization, all the 500 and 1000 rupee notes were banned and new notes came in the circulation. But this man once again was starting to print fake currencies and include them in the market circulation. Well, this is, I believe, is hurting our economy. And this person should be treated with the harshest punishment which we can, which the law can have. And I would also like to amend the, uh, I would also like to give advice to amend the laws so that nothing like this can happen in the future. We need a special investigation team which will look into the matter concerning the uh, fake currencies and the issues related to the related to our uh, market economy, like everything. It also includes the share market, the all the activities related to the RBI and SEBI and whatnot. So yeah, I, I, I will say in the end that all these cases should be dealt with the maximum uh, maximum punishment. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Vidan. That was really very nice. Uh, I hope that your arguments really made the judge think something about the same. OK, now can we have our next volunteer, please? Uh, don't be afraid if there is any guest uh, who is not a Toastmaster here. I don't think so, but still. 
okay so i will go and choose now uh, what about toastmaster karan uh, if you'd like to come onto the stage toastmaster karan can you hear me yes sir anand i can hear you yes okay so uh, I have got a topic for you and that is, so it is basically the world's first map, which was made on the cuneiform tablets. So my question to you is that if you can go around the world with only one person, who that person will be? If you can go around the world with only one person, who that one person will be? So thank you, thank you Anand, Anand for such a beautiful topic. Though I don't like, you know, ro roaming here and there, uh, tourism is not my area. But if you talk about, you know, just uh, exploring this world and traveling, traveling the world. So I would like to travel with, I know that it will be, you know, quite surprising for you all, but it would be myself. Yes. So I would be, I would like to travel with myself because I know that, uh, you know, when I travel with some, uh, someone, it happens with me, with me in past that the first of all, I bore myself and that other person also, he, he also at the end of the journey, he said that from future, I will not, you know, travel with you because I'm uh, very, uh, you can say that preserving type of uh, person. So yes, to answer your question, I would like to travel with uh, myself if I if I would get any chance to travel in this life. Thank you, thank you, Anand. Thank you, Toastmaster Karan, and I hope that uh, you, like you find a friend because uh, I remember that I always go to museums all alone, and sometimes it's good to be uh, with someone with a friend. <laughs> I hope that yeah. you get a uh, person to uh, come okay. with you too. Right. Okay, so can we have our next volunteer? And Tamit, just let me know in case we are running short of time. I will stop there. I would like to join. Okay, uh, sorry, I couldn't hear who that person was. Was it Karthik? Was it Allah? Karthik, yes, I'm okay. going to give table topic speech. Okay, uh, so just give me a second. Okay, so uh yeah so this is another cuneiform tablet and it actually mentions the five day ration list interestingly so i would like to know what is in your amazon flipkart or mintra or whatever shopping cart it is so what's in your shopping cart at the moment um, there's nothing in my shopping cart today i have just ordered one book on essay writing because uh, for, for the helpness for, to help myself for the preparation of a complete exam for, for which I was preparing. And the last thing I ordered was, was also a book uh, called Chanakti Niti, which I still haven't read it, read it. I mean, on, from tomorrow or weekends, I will try to read and understand what what is it there and why the you know, Chanakya is so famous in this day and age also. And I don't uh, keep the things in my shopping cart. I just I take take things as on a wish list because in Amazon there is a feature also a wish list in which uh, uh, under the cart if we select the button on the cart section of amazon app or website the, below the cart section there is a wish list also in which the list is formed whenever we try to find out the item particular item if if we want to buy it or not and for the out of stock items also wish list help because once the item comes back and be in stock 
then we get notified in our mailing address and from app notifications also. An interesting image. Thank you, our post table topic master Anand. Over to you. Thank you so much, Karthik. Uh, you went too technical on <laughs> with my words, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I that's also a good thing to have things in this list because I heard somewhere that if you put things in cart, there's some algorithm which works and the prices may, might go up for the things which you are looking. Anyways, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I do know that we are running short on time. The timer has just pinged me. So thank you so much for your table topics uh, speech. And now I would like to hand over the stage back to our Toastmaster of the day. And in the uh, but before I do that, I'd just like to launch the polls so you can just quickly go and vote for the best person whom you think uh, uh, like the best speech which you heard tonight. So we can just quickly vote. Uh, Give me a moment, please, because I have to update uh, one or two table or topic speakers. Oh, sorry. Uh, is it missing? I I think we have five. Um, I think it's uh, good. Yeah, please uh, launch the poll is updated. Please launch. Yeah, the yeah, topic. yeah. Uh, it's uh, going live. So if yeah, if we, yeah, if we can just take five more seconds to vote. Uh, I'm still waiting for three more people to uh, vote. I think so. Okay. I thought okay, something had gone wrong, but it seems okay. to be all right now. Yeah. Okay. So I will just end the poll here. Uh, the results will be with any of the host who is here. Uh, okay. So now I hand over the stage back to our Toastmaster of the day and hope you have a lovely evening further down the line. It's over to you. Thank you. Resilience uh, not usually happen when we face hardship only <laughs> or something negative. Resilience is the way of life uh, in order to cope, in order to make our things more smooth, smoother way. In the three things, which is acknowledgement, attention, and uh, identifying ourselves and for what we are doing. Or now coming to the next important section of today's meeting, evaluation segment. For that, I would like to call the general evaluator of today's meeting, Distinguished Toastmaster Roli Sena. Over to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Toastmaster of the meeting. You've been handling the entire meeting with a prompt today. Thank you so much for being so organized. Now I'd like to uh, begin first with the speech evaluations. After that, we will have the reports from the Aussie role players. Finally, I will present my observations on the meeting. Our resilience is what matters. And why it is so important is because we receive certain feedback, we identify certain obstacles, we have to overcome those. Only when we realize what our improvement areas are, only then can we overcome those. And the quality that helps us overcome those is our perseverance and our resilience. So I hope that each one of you is going to empower yourself with the knowledge of the obstacles and the talent to overcome those obstacles. We'll hear from our speech evaluator number one, who will be evaluating distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta's speech. I'd request Toastmaster Anand to take the stage and let us know what kind of observations he has recorded for distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta's speech. Toastmaster Anand. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator. Now, uh, Apart from going from the speech uh, and that's it indirectly into the speech, uh, I felt that the speaker was really very ambitious and it's a really very good thing of what he mentioned. Uh, we all are working now in constraints and his idea of doing something special, be going beyond the geographical boundaries and getting role players is something which I felt 
was really tremendous a task which he took and he is I, I as and as he treated is doing something uh, some really phenomenal work in that very aspect uh, as the project objective says that i have to look into the planning part and how we of course with uh, the element of public speaking i also really love the idea of having the governance committee and the mock contest it's really very important for the audience uh, and for the contestants to know how the contest is going to run smooth i remember that in one of the contests uh, although even after quite a lot of briefing there was a contestant who just came up to me and said should i begin the speech now although the time was or had already started ticking and i was caught in a situation because i was the contest chair and i didn't know whether should i say him should he begin it or shouldn't it so it having that very center uh, sense of element and making sure that you are possibly doing each and everything which is in, under your control is something which i really loved uh, he actually also began with a story and that's a personal anecdote which comes in now why it's important is because it just not adds a flavor but it adds a bit of your personal touch and uh, if we dig deep into every single words it really means to the person who hears and uh, there might be two people who might be traveling at the same road at two different instances but if you call say to them that very same story they will relate to it and that's what the story does uh, I also saw the speaker really very smooth and calm on the stage. He was using hand gestures and uh, that was flowing like water. Uh, I have a few suggestions and I think it, uh, uh, which uh, I think won't need a lot of uh, uh, change as such. First of all, I'd like to uh, ask the speaker if he can uh, uh, just uh, go away from the blur background thing. Of course, I know uh, say things might not be as comfortable if the background is not so uh, picture perfect kind of a thing but still uh, having that very normal background i will suggest will work for me but of course uh, it's the, the speaker's choice at the end of the day and if he can look directly into the camera at moments i felt that he was uh, his uh, eyesight was just going away from the camera so that uh, at times felt it me a bit awkward but uh, if you can just use a post-it or something of that sort like when i'm speaking on my camera Right now, I can see a white uh, color uh, light which comes from, so I can focus on the same. So that helps me. Uh, for you, it might be a different case. You might just want to watch it for the same. Uh, one, uh, uh, not technical aspect, but rather uh, in terms of what he mentioned, like when he was sharing the story of uh, giving the uh, appreciation, or when he was using the hand, uh, the appreciation. So that very sense of enthusiasm in the voice, I felt that could have been added the, over there it should have shown and felt the same manner in which the person the other person when you let's say you gift something to that very person how he or she feels so that very sense of feeling might would have come over there uh, the pitching of the idea was really very uh, great uh, in uh, as i said while we are working in constraints it's really very great to see uh, people like this who are just taking things uh, to a completely new notch. Uh, overall, the speech was really very nice. Uh, I love the idea of how he has planned for his upcoming contest and the way he's taking every single measure which can be taken. Uh, if you can just uh, try to work uh, with his camera angles and with his a bit of expressions, a bit of tone as such, uh, which just adds a bit more of feelings. I think uh, his, uh, cable enough to go another few miles more so thank you so much for your speech toastmaster raj mehta and it's over to you uh, toastmaster roli thank you so much toastmaster anand and now we will move to our second speech evaluator who is none other than the speaker who was receiving feedback from the speech evaluator just now let me invite on stage distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta to evaluate Toastmaster Surinder Kaur's speech. Distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta. Distinguished Toastmaster Roli Sena. Everybody is a leader in its own way. Yes. And from this sentence itself, I was there in this speech because I felt that I'm also a leader in my own way. And today I will have a lot of knowledge about leadership from this speaker, which was there. I, I felt, no, don't just felt, I just listened 
so many types of leaderships i have also read this project but i even could not uh, find so many types of leadership leadership so i just congratulate the speaker for investigating and having so much information about so many styles of leaderships like uh, autocratic bureaucratic consultative participative uh, neurotic style situational style and all this and uh, i would say the above all the best thing was the detailed features of the or details features or the characteristics of the leadership styles and also that also with examples of leaders and organizations wow great information great uh, way of telling the different uh, leadership styles and uh, the information which i got from you in today's speech kudos to you for this uh, information i felt that this speech could have been taken to a higher level if a little bit more preparation was done and speech was delivered with the, in a, a bit faster pace secondly i felt that when you are giving a speech it's better to use laptop instead of uh, 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 mobile because in mobile you are not able to uh, you know tell the things or express the things in the way in which you can do in in your laptop otherwise it was a great speech with great information and great examples and great, uh, information about so many styles of leaderships uh, i also felt that if you could also you know talk about your style of leadership because this project says that the speaker has to tell us about his or her own style of leadership what type of leadership you adopt whether it is autocratic whether it is participatory or consultative whatever it is so you were supposed to tell about your style of leadership and how you apply that style of leadership in your activities in postmasters or or in your uh, other parts of life overall a great speech great information a little bit of work on the uh, flow of this delivery of the speech and use of the laptop would take the speech to to a much higher level over to you Over to thank you so much uh, distinguished host master raj mehta now we will move to our third speech evaluator toastmaster banaja who will be evaluating toastmaster karan speech madam the stage is all yours thank you thank you toastmaster rodi and uh, wow what a great start uh, tm karan we all were literally hooked with your speech from your starting quote when you said that winners don't do uh, things dif different things they do it differently so that was very captivating and the in in entire audience was very engaged from the beginning from your speech with your speech so it was very nice and we all enjoyed your speech and how you categorically spoken about the like how to achieve success in life and what should be the goals starting from your different smart approach that specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound so there are so many aspects you have really categorically uh, mentioned in your speech and explained it so everybody has got that flavor of those everything each and every word every each and every alphabet and uh, you have uh, told about the goal setting also what are the category a category b category c d and e like that so it was very clear crisp and clear and everybody has understood the flavor of your speech and it was really nice and uh, like uh, uh, apart from all these uh, like very good things i have couple of suggestions for you too while delivering i have uh, observed that you were you were keeping your hands in this post position closed position so that means you are uh, not open to the ideas it generally implies people say so so i would request i would suggest that if you could uh, use your hand, uh, hand more effectively and your uh, like expression would, would be better it would be more uh, like uh, people will get it in a much better uh, manner and the second one i felt that uh, when while delivering you uh, missed to uh, like when you were telling your goal setting category a b c you could not tell about the d and d uh, in for the paucity of time you were because you were overshooting the time so this i will suggest that you practice it uh, like before giving the speech 
this will make that time you will be time bound exactly what you have said in your speech you can uh, effectively manage the time in a much better way so overall i felt that it was a wonderful speech we all really liked your uh, ideas and your analytical capabilities that was really great and with this couple of suggestions if you could improve i am sure you will take it to the next level thank you karan and congratulations thank you so much to us master banerjee thank you ma'am definitely i will work on them thank you thank you, thank you. all right now we will move to our auxiliary role players for their reports uh, first i will share the report for the language uh, just give me one second to share my screen is my screen visible to everyone all right thank you so i first like to compliment all the speakers today toastmaster karan toastmaster kartik toastmaster bharat and toastmaster arvind for using the word of the day thank you so much it was um, very nice to see the effort that had been made i also want to compliment uh, toastmaster banerja for using phrases like new dimensions it was a very unique usage in that particular terminology and the context that she was using it during her table topic then toastmaster anand had a nice word like allegations and taking up a notch in his evaluation he used taking up a notch and one more uh, phrase that he used of uh, many miles more the speaker could go many miles more that was a very nice uh, alliterative phrase i like that i would like to suggest to people that <clears throat> it may be uh, good to say who will be that person instead of saying who that person would be simply because the question in the context becomes very clear secondly traveling at the same road could be replaced with traveling on the same road because we travel on the road so sometimes our prepositions stay the better of us uh, instead of saying and all this let's try to be a little specific and concise in our language so that we can clearly state what we are trying to address to our audience if we become very ambiguous the audience starts to lose interest and gets the feeling that the speaker does not have clarity on whatever they are trying to talk about this is uh, one of my pet peeves and i apologize that some people may not be aware of it so when we write we say tm allo kujo tm roli sina but when we are addressing the toastmasters verbally it, will, it must be toastmaster allo toastmaster karan toastmaster anand and it's the same way we will distinguish toastmaster so we should say distinguished toastmaster raj mehta not raj mehta dtn so i know that uh, today we did not falter on the usage of dtm and we addressed our distinguished host masters correctly but the word uh, tm was used and i just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention i'd also like to compliment host master karan for sharing things like winners don't do things differently they uh, winners don't do different things they do things differently and the phrase of communication gym I also compliment distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta for using the word comments. Uh, Toastmaster Surinder said, "Magnificent empire of the organization and laces fair." This is something that I haven't heard from a very long time. Neurocratic leadership style was something which was new to me, and I loved learning about it. Uh, before I uh, uh, take the stage back. and give it to the general evaluator i'd like to just point out that the pronunciation of appreciation should be clear it should not have appreciation it should be appreciation so we can try to be a little more emphatic on the 
sir sound of uh, the C which is being used here. And I compliment again Toastmaster Sumit for using the word demonetizing. And I'd like to give the stage back to the general evaluator who will now call our R counter Toastmaster Sumit in. Toastmaster Sumit, the stage is all yours. Hey, thank you, Rolly, for that uh, wonderful uh, language evaluation. Unfortunately, I am also using the R words uh, many times, but I'm still learning since this is a Toastmaster station that I should learn and make people also learn about the same. So listening is uh, perseverance here, and that I have done. I've pinned all the uh, report to WhatsApp, but I'll read it out. So the beginning of the day, there was Raj Mehta, who was a speaker one. I found him flawless in no filler sounds I have found in his speech. Anand Kumar, evaluator one, he was very uh, perfect in his speech. Unfortunately, there were some R's in his uh, speech, so multiple times of R's. So in the call, the speaker two, he had used multiple R's. Arms, there is one, and R, that is one. There are two miscellaneous, that is uh, some words which are used as fillers like to or to. These are the words which have been used. Raj Mehta evaluated two, wherein I have found there is only one uh, R multiple times the, you know there was one usage. Karan Pandey, speaker three, he used once you know, and miscellaneous, so that is two times he has used the word like. Banaji, the evaluator three, uh, he has used word R multiple times. Alok Kujur was I have not seen him to speak. Sorry, there is no report for him. Karthik Misha, the key word. Um, there were there were a lot of arms in his speech, so multiple times of arms. Ron is the president, the distinguished toastmaster. I should learn from him how it should be flawless. So he, she is flawless. Vedant Pradhan, the guest, he had used ours two times in his introduction, the multiple times, and there was some word called so like uh, multiple times. During the table topic session, Anand Kumar, the table topic master, he had used R's multiple times, R that was two times. He had used one miscellaneous word called so one time, Banaja multiple times of R, um once, R twice, and the word used like twice. Me, myself, Sumit, I used for this in my speech, I found, and that I have noted, that was twice. Apart from that, R's were there. Unfortunately, I could not grab it. Vedan Pradhan, R's twice, R's one, the one, Karan, R's one, Kartik Mishra, there were three pauses like me. So that was all about my report and I've shared it in the WhatsApp group. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, share my laptop screen. Over Thank you, you so Rodica. much. Yes, Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sunil. And now we'll take uh, the report from the man with the colorful background, our timer of the day, Toastmaster Alok. Let's hear you speak so that the R counter is also satisfied. Please unmute yourself and you can share your report then. Uh, your voice is not clearly audible, uh, Toastmaster Alok. Am I the only one who is unable to hear him? Or is anyone else facing similar problems? Yeah. Can you say um, uh, Alo, could you just uh, speak a little more so that I can make out whether you're, you're audible or not? 
Can you see the screen now? Yes, we can see the screen and you are audible as well. Please go ahead. Okay. So this are the result. Toastmaster, uh, sorry, uh, acting sergeant at arms, uh, Anand started the meeting at 18.50. Sorry, it was 18.45 right on time. I uh, wrongly entered the wrong time. President Roli Sina took six minutes, eight seconds. Karthik Mishra during his team audio introduction took five minutes, 59 seconds. Our counter uh, took four, give me one uh, our counter took 43 seconds. Language evaluator took one minute, 15 seconds. Sorry, this would be timer. Serial number five is timer introduction. This is 43 seconds. And serial number seven is our counter. This is one seconds. Speaker one, Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta took six minutes, 24 seconds. Speaker two, Toastmaster Surinder exceeded her time limit. She took eight minutes, 53 seconds. Toastmaster Karan took seven minutes, 18 seconds. And these are table top speakers. Toastmaster Banaja, one minute, 58 seconds. Toastmaster Shumit uh, exceeded the time limit, two minutes, 39 seconds. Toastmaster Vedan, 214. Okay. Uh, sorry, speech evaluator Ranand uh, took four minutes, 24 seconds. Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta took two minutes, 51 seconds. And Toastmaster Banaja was well within our time, two minutes, 43 seconds. And these are the language evaluator report, three minutes, five seconds. And our counter took three minutes, 29 seconds. Uh, this is all from my side. Over to you. Thank Sorry. you, Toastmaster Alok. Um, I understand. Uh, would you like to take that call or do you want? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have some queries about your report, if you can just explain. Uh, for speech evaluator on and row number 17, uh, the timing should be two minutes to three minutes. No, uh, row number 17. One seven. A speech evaluator. Yeah, yeah. So no, it should be uh, two to three minutes, right? Yeah, two to three minutes. Okay. So, but I see three to five minutes. I wrongly entered that. Oh, okay. And is the timing the that you time, have recorded four twenty four? Yeah. That is correct. Time. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, thank you for your uh, report, uh, Toastmaster Alok. And I really appreciate the multitasking that you're having to do. Uh, let's uh, launch the polls for the speech evaluators. And the, after that, the Aussie role players, please. Let me know if you need me to launch the polls. Toastmaster Anand, are you launching or should I do? I am no more the host, of course. Oh. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, all right. Not an issue. I'll launch it. Everyone, please vote for the best speech evaluator. Uh, we need votes from two more people, one more person. Can we have the vote from the last person?
All right. Um, I think we are going to be. If anyone wants to vote but is unable to vote, can you just send me your vote, please? Okay. Thank you. We'll move on to the reports for the votes for the best auxiliary role player now. I think there are three more people who are left to vote if they can vote as well. Okay, I'm going to end the poll now. Right. Uh, we'll move to uh, the observations from the GE's desk as the general evaluator. So first of all, I really like the engagement and involvement of each and every person who is present here. This has been one of those meetings where everyone was fully involved. I believe that we can increase our involvement and enhance the speaker's experience if we maintain this policy of keeping our videos on throughout the meeting. I understand that it may not be possible all the time, but I appreciate the ones who did because I know that as a speaker, I always feel better when I can see the expressions on the audience's faces. That gives me a lot of motivation to speak and continue with my speeches. Uh, this is the only way in which we can ensure that the physical meeting experience is replicated. Secondly, I uh, compliment the Toastmaster of the meeting for holding the meeting together very well and making sure that everyone gets a chance to speak. I also noticed that some people, the host and the co-host were playing the role of the tech master and spotlighting the person who was speaking on the stage and even making sure that those who were on the mobile could see the timer by adding the spotlight for the timer during the table topics uh, session. And I think that helps a lot. I like the theme that the Toastmaster of the day has chosen. Resiliency is something that all of us really need uh, in ourselves. And inculcating resilience in ourselves is not an easy task. Uh, it comes after a long time and it uh, increases a lot of pressure on us. And I feel that the pointers that he has given, if we try to follow it in the a simple manner in which he has introduced those pointers, I think we will make our lives much more simple. So I'd like to compliment the Toastmaster of the meeting on the selection of the theme. I wish that he would have kept the meeting structure introduction and the introductions of the speakers when he was calling them in line with the theme of the meeting. I think that creates a better connectivity throughout the meeting. It helps everyone stay more and more engaged. And it does not make us feel that we are coming back to the meeting of the theme meeting. It, it never feels like that. So just try this out next time in your uh, Toastmaster of the meeting role. The second thing, again, it's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, let's call the evaluator of the speech and not evaluator of the speaker because we never evaluate the person. We only evaluate the actions and we help them improve on those areas. So it's a very subtle uh, connotation, but it can be slightly negative. So let's just keep that in our mind. It happened only once, by the way. 
but it happened so i had to uh, bring that up uh, next i would like it if we do the audio video check of the speaker before the stage is handed over i'd also request all of the audience members to rename themselves with their role for example it's very clear to me that uh toastmaster karan is our speaker number 3 and toastmaster banaja is our evaluation evaluator number 3 and toastmaster kartik is the team on but sometimes when the roles are not written there the last minute changes may not be so easy to detect for the toastmaster of the meeting and other role players as well the second suggestion is for everyone Uh, when we are using our mobile i understand that sometimes laptops are just not a possibility uh, but whenever we are using our mobile let's switch it around to keep it in landscape mode because it makes sure that the camera uh, is uh, enabled to capture more of us and we don't have to be so close to the camera we can be far away enough so that our body all the way until our torso is captured properly and our hand gestures are also visible at times i notice that some people uh, set their camera for a sitting position and then when they stood up they did not go far enough from the camera because of that the top of the head was uh, getting snipped out from the camera so we can just try and be more alert and attentive to the way we are going to appear on the screen and our tech masters can help us do that uh, in the absence of a formal tech master role we can have the toast master of the meeting or whoever is a role player for example as a general evaluator it becomes my responsibility to ensure that for my speech evaluators and for my auxiliary role players that when they take the stage they are completely visible and audible the next thing uh, i would like to really compliment our table topics master he has elevated his storytelling technique to a totally different level not only was he telling the story through uh, the table topics that he had chosen he had um, enrolled a team of the storytellers in the form of the table topic speakers and the table topic speakers i must compliment did not let him down at all they were as imaginative as possible and they continued with the stories even though sometimes i felt that the to table topics were very challenging if i had been put on the spot like that maybe i wouldn't have responded so beautifully and in such an articulate manner i would like to compliment osmasha bananja very specific and analytical when responding to the uh, question of what's in your piggy bank i felt that a couple of examples here and there would have added the meta touch uh, second toastmaster sumit who was defending himself against the allegation of uh, currencies fake currencies circulation very interesting story it actually had a suspense and i love the ending how was your demonetizing day table topics master i would dread to again answer that kind of a question because all the negativities would come up from me but i like the ending Uh, that was very well done uh, toastmaster uh, guest vidan uh, did not really seem as though he was uh, delivering a table topic for the first time he had a story he continued the story with a good uh, imagination and it continued you could see that he's thinking along with the story as he's telling it but he stayed on track and that was very well done toastmaster karan who would you be the person who with whom you'd like to travel very simple and straight to the point by with myself i also love solo traveling so i completely get where he's coming from i felt that he could have gone on for a little more time because the stories could have been more elaborative where i understand as a solo traveler why solo traveling is really something that everyone should try and toastmaster kartik very literal meaning what is in your shopping cart and he demonstrated what i really love that table topics are opinions and meant to be your own opinions 
so take the topic as you want to interpret it and then go with it we took the topic is there nothing in my shopping cart but i bought these books and i bought this book and i want to read this book why do i want to read this book so the content was very well connected and it may not have been like right or as an answer to the question but it doesn't have to be so one of the best table topic sessions thank you so much for the speech evaluators my compliments for being so observational and i like the way toastmaster anand complimented the speaker on various specific points i like the way he brought in his own personal example to emphasize why he is relating to this speech so much i like the fact that he was motivational yes we can be a little more vigilant about our timing that's something that toastmaster anand and i must try to work upon distinguished toastmaster raj mehta i love the fact that he used the speaker's opening sentence to um, make his opening sentence for the evaluation uh i felt that the evaluation was weighing a little bit more on the recommendations and in the end a commendation a very specific commendation on the speech would have made a very positive impact and made sure that the toastmaster is encouraged to take the stage back again uh, we are all improving day by day and it's good to throw challenges but let's also make sure that we are complimenting our speakers uh, for the effort that they have made toastmaster uh, banaja um i liked the analytical content of the entire evaluation a uh, very minor suggestion let us not speak for the audience in the sense that if i say that we all appreciated the table topic session and that's like i am i don't know maybe somebody did not write, like that storytelling approach that the table topic master is to do so i can only speak for myself and that's something that every speech evaluator must take as a responsibility i am speaking as the observer of this particular speech and i am going to do my best to help my speaker deliver a better speech tomorrow that, that it's as simple as that uh, i also felt that um, we must do away with words like overall it was a great speech just just do away with it say specifically this uh, in the summary that is what i mean in the summary this is what i liked i like the fact that toastmaster anand was motivational i like the fact that toastmaster banerja was analytical i like the fact that distinguished toastmaster raj mehta uh, made the opening sentence as his own evaluation opening sentence so that my compliments to the r counter for sending the report as well as reading it out let's avoid saying multiple hours let's give a number or at least a range 5 to 15 5 to 10 hours that also can do uh, the timer again when you're sharing the report on the screen just please highlight the important points for us that might be helpful for me as well to observe as a language evaluator but i'm most open to taking feedback from all of you for the language evaluators report and i'd like to call back on stage our wonderful toastmaster of the day those master kartik mishra to carry the meeting forward thank you thank you for this wonderful evaluation general evaluator district those master holy sinha uh, coming to the theme resiliency why we resilient why requirement of resiliency is there the thing is why why we are you know, whenever we want to do something whenever we are facing difficulty or just on a raw normal routine whenever we try thinking that leave it could and just accept uh, the negativity just remember why you are doing it why you are putting the effort for the thing that you want to do coming from the small things to the big things like i want to woke up in the morning early in the morning want to exercise want to yoga when i didn't do it 
um, when I uh, woke up in the morning late, I just remember why I am, why I have decided that. That's an example from my personal end. So resilience uh, basically can be done in three ways. As I discussed earlier, I will elaborate it. That acknowledge your situation, which situation you are in a particular thing or a particular part of life and accept it. Select the things required to be done and give attention to that. Whether to focus on a particular thing and leave the rest thing, rest of these things, change uh, which is required to be done and be positive so that we can't get negative and leave our effort to the trash and do journaling identify what are you doing which is harming you or helping you and focus on the and take help to, to our love from our loved ones friends and colleagues if required that's it from my end i would like has the best role player voting has been done No, Karthik, I'll be calling for that uh, during the president's closing address. You can Sorry. conclude your thing, not an issue. I conclude my theme that uh, just do what is what you find is right. And remaining happy is important rather than being successful or being feeling achieve, achiever. That's it from my end. Over to pre President, Distinguished Toastmaster Holy Sina. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the meeting. Uh, thank you for that uh, summarization of the points. Uh, yes, remember why you do it. Every time you stumble, every time you start finding the uphill climb difficult, remember why you started it. It's something that each one of us might have to do from time to time whenever we are thinking about our performance, our contribution, especially in Toastmasters. Why did we join? Remember that and it will make sure that your continuance is permanent. You do not uh, leave the journey halfway. So with that, I thank the our Toastmaster of the meeting and I'd like to uh, seek help from Toastmaster Anand for launching the poll for the best role players. If I am the co-host, then I will be also be able to share the certificates and launch the polls. Yes. Uh, okay, now I am the host, so I can actually do this for you. Um, okay. I hope now you have the co-host access and you can launch the poll. Would you like me to? Okay, great. Thank you so much. We need four more people to vote, please. Uh, I think we can end the poll uh, here. Okay, sure. Yep. sure. Thank you. Now, while our certificates are being prepared for our role players and the awardees, I'd like to take some feedback from our guests tonight. Uh, Toastmaster Sumit, would you be in a position to share your feedback for us, how we can improve? 
uh, well, it's a busy day for me. I just started my shift. You can see the people around <laughs> me. See, they are waiting for me. Though uh, it's a wonderful journey for me with Delhi One Toastmaster because I'm from Lee and Sopena Toastmasters Club. I find a lot of things interesting. There are things which are changing, and uh, there are rules that are changing. Uh, where in somehow I'm learning how to speak and really, you know, yes, I learn a lot of a lot from you. I learn uh, from Anand. I learn from Banaja. I learn from everyone from this meeting. So it's a learning experience for me, and I'm trying my best. to be our best speaker so it's a journey for me thank That's you it. toastmaster sumit i think uh, you have really exemplified our mission statement we provide a mutual and supportive and positive learning environment for each other so this is something that i think all of us should also consciously remember subconsciously we may come to that realization again and again but consciously also we should try to keep this in our mind that while we are learning we are also enabling others to learn and like um, toastmaster karan and toast a uh, distinguished toastmaster raj mehta uh, emphasized that we are all leaders so each one of us is a leader because we are helping others so thank you for that and in the meantime if you feel that there are points that uh, dotm delhi one toast masters can improve upon please do share it with us we'd love to learn your feel from you yeah, i'd like to thank you uh, is vedant here okay i think vedant uh, just signed off right okay i'd like to Sorry, hear from you that rolly i'm yes, sorry to interrupt you rolly uh, i no, do no, not get the case that you share So it would be good for me to get those certificates because somehow we are being being social, so we can post it in the social media platform. So that would be very much helpful. Okay, we normally send the certificates on email to our um, awardees, whoever wins the award. I will try and check back with our secretary if uh, there are some certificates which haven't been sent. and in the meantime if you could just uh, re um, send your email id in the group in the whatsapp group not just here so that would like you know i can check back with our secretary if the same email id has been used or not so i apologize if yeah, you I'll haven't received it but we do try to make sure that after the meeting the award winners are receiving the certificates thank you thanks so much yeah, for that Okay, Toastmaster Surinder Kaur, um, would you like to share your feedback with us today? Really, it was nice meeting, and uh, I enjoyed a lot and learned so much, especially uh, timer card behind the timer. It, this is what uh, I have seen first time in Toastmasters, so it's new thing, and. Um, in future it will helpful for me and uh, today this was my first speech out of my club and uh, so i forgot sorry that thank you thank you to thank you to surinder um to you personally i try to usually avoid making personal comments but to you personally i really want to compliment your bravery and courage it is not an easy task and what you are doing today what you've done today using your mobile to come to an unfamiliar club unfamiliar audience deliver your speech it's an act of courage and it inspires all of us You Thank may you. feel that oh my god, I forgot my speed. Oh yes. my god, I wasn't so uh, fluent as I wanted to be. But what I am drawing from you as an audience is that you're making an effort, and if you can do it, I can also do it. 
you know it's been uh, i i will be honest here it's been a while since i delivered a speech because i've been so occupied with my work and my health issues and you inspired me today that it doesn't matter how bad i will be on stage what matters is whether i take the stage or not you know so uh, you're making that effort and you're an inspiration for all of us at least for me i was bored away that at your age you are taking that plunge and you are making sure that okay if somebody thank you so much said, uh, that yes. you're out of your club you will get a better experience you've actually done that so many of my energy was <laughs> down energy was zero when i was standing and giving my speech no i i it was very that, difficult to tell uh, i i'm i'm so i i don't know you but i'm really proud of you and i hope that you, you will Thank return you so. again and again and deliver a speech take up roles i really would like to see your journey as a toastmaster continue even with what sure. support really one toastmasters can provide so thank you so much sure. for being sure. here uh toastmaster thank you thank you yes thank you toastmaster bananja very quickly your feedback for us uh it is second time here i came here second time uh, last time i came as table topic master and this time as evaluator but uh, really i am really enjoying this uh, your uh, session and especially in your presence i have learned a lot of things from you as well and from other toastmasters toastmaster sumit anand uh, kartik and uh, toastmasters karan everybody toastmaster surinder we know i know uh, toastmaster surinder and toastmaster karan but even then everybody now nah, is very like they have something new to give each and every session so that way it is always enriching for all of us to be present whenever it is possible for me it is very difficult as it is my working day and i was i kept a message also if some like suppose i can't come somebody else should be there to take up this role so that is why i will definitely try to be there as much as possible when term time permits and thank you all for your cooperation thank you those pastor banerja especially enjoyed and appreciated your uh, comments in the chat you were appreciating each and every speaker uh, some of us are not able to do it because we are multitasking all the time uh, but i really liked it that you were at least holding that fort very well done and i, I hope that you do come back again I and do. visit us yeah and just, and just one thing, one more thing i would like sure. to comment i have seen your moderation in that panel discussion in oh, that right. sunday's meeting and right. i really enjoyed it was fantastic thank you thank you so much that's really kind of you thank you uh toastmaster karan i know that uh, you have been very patiently listening to all of us now please give me your feedback thank you thank you roli so it was you know a day to learn new skills so there are some days when you unlearn something there are some days when you relearn few things so today was the day in my life when like i come to know in contact with anand with uh, roli you are there and our tmod uh, sorry not benson tmod is toast master of the day so it gave me a chance to learn a new skills and whatever i will take that whatever the suggestions that you have you know particularly said about me roli and uh, and obviously our Uh, banaja ma'am i will take that up and it is a uh, in the path of improvement so today was the day that uh, i came to learn a uh, few things what i really liked about you know this uh, club was uh, there were two thing uh, first was the timer card so normally we used to show that all the speaker and all evaluators but here you have you know from this start login time to log out time so it was nicely tracked though a few you know errors were there but we are human so we are allowed to do that uh, this many errors and second thing that uh, uh, i like that uh, topic of the day is resilience so it was nicely uh, under spoke by 
Karthik, I, I think, yes, Karthik. Yeah. So it was very uh, good topic. So thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Master Karan. Uh, and I know that it has been uh, a new thing for some of us uh, here that the timer card is shown in the background. So there's a particular reason why we chose to do that instead of sharing the screen. Every time we share the screen, uh, the entire interface changes and suddenly like, you know, there might be only one speaker and the timer card which is being shared. So every time that will happen, it will distract the audience's attention from the speaker. That is one part. Second, the interface will change. So everyone has to reconfigure their screens. I have to come back to the gallery mode in order to be able to see all of the speakers. And thirdly, uh, we just want that there should be one interface. And it is a lot easier to just keep the timer on the spotlight and uh, see the background changes. We just try to utilize the concept of virtual backgrounds, which everybody uses, like we try to blur our backgrounds. I have also tried to uh, hide my background and keep it as a neutral white wall. So all of us use this anyway. We just try to make use of it uh, so that we can utilize it in our Toastmasters meeting also. So I, th I think that we also learned this technique uh, from somebody else. But I yes, that... it looks good. It looks good. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you. that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And now I'd like to request somebody who's been waiting very patiently for us uh, to show the certificate and I'd like a couple of people from our audience to announce the awards as Toastmaster Anand shows the certificates on the screen. Toastmaster Anand. So, so whenever the person is ready to take the stage, I will just change the slide. Right. So Toastmaster Karan, would you be uh, the announcer for our, I think the best table topic speaker, right? I don't know. I will just change the slide. Then. Okay. Okay. So, wherever uh, he changes the slide, Toastmaster Karan, please announce the award. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. Go ahead, Anand. So, okay. we, have the, we have the award for best auxiliary role, Toastmaster Roli Sinam. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, now, now Toastmaster Banerjee. Uh, Toastmaster Banerjee, you'll have to unmute yourself, please. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we have here the best table topic speaker for tonight. It is Toastmaster Sumit and big congratulations and a big applaud for him. So thank you, Toastmaster Sumit. I thought you were hiding behind your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It is the laptop. <laughs> he, was, he was asking for a certificate and here it is. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, these are the same certificates that we send on email. I, I don't know why it hasn't gone. Uh, Toastmaster Surinder, would you announce the next award, please? Toastmaster Anand, you can go on to the next one. Okay, yes. So our best evaluator, Toastmaster Surinder. I know Toastmaster, Toastmaster Raj Mehta, best evaluator. Thank you so much. Uh, I know that he's not present here, but we'll make sure that he uh, gets the notification. Thank you. And now we will request Toastmaster Sumit to announce the next award. Um, we have got two evaluators today. Oh, okay. So we can congratulate Toastmaster Banerjee. Toastmaster Sumit, can you congratulate Toastmaster Banerjee, please? Sure, yes. Uh, it is indeed a pleasure to congratulate the best evaluator from uh, Toastmaster Banerjee. Ah, I sent an email already. And the third evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Karthik, could you announce it, please? Okay. I thought we had three uh, evaluators. But Toastmaster. one was disqualified. It's very humble of you, but I'd like to congratulate you in any case. 
It was a very good evaluation. Let's yes, be more vigilant of time. You and I both. And let's congratulate our best speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Raj Mehta. We uh, will. Raj Mehta. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do we have any other awards left, Toastmaster Anand? Oh, yeah, this role play. Thank you. Somebody and we can, can congratulate have... Toastmaster Roli for, sorry, distinguished Toastmaster Roli for uh, best role player for tonight's uh, meeting. Thank, so, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Uh, we've come to the end of the meeting and uh, definitely overshot the time, but I'm very happy that all of you came and uh, remain so very attentive right to the end of the meeting. You've been your involvement means a whole lot to all of us. I hope that the next meeting will also find you among the audience members and role players, and I wish you a great weekend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Van. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.